back to another prep vlog. Um, I broke my tripod, so I have to hand hold this right now. And I have another tripod, but it's in my car and I don't want to go down because I live on the third floor. You know, it's just, it's a lot of stairs. <laughs> so, um, sorry if it's a little shaky, but so just another normal morning, did my check-ins because I do check-ins every Tuesday and Friday, did my fasted cardio for 60 minutes, read some, watched some YouTube videos, and then I love my mornings because I make my coffee, I drink my greens, I have my uh, yogurt with berries, and my mornings I look forward to so much. When I go to bed, I'm like, mm, I can't wait to wake up, have my coffee, and eat some food again because I'm usually hungry when I go to bed. Right now we are just over seven and nine weeks out from competition and a lot has been happening since my last prep video. So in this video I'm going to be going over and just sitting down and talking to you guys how this prep has been going and just kind of taking more of a deep dive into where I've been at mentally, physically, and all of that. So this is gonna be more of like a chatty video. It's still gonna be like a day in the life of my day-to-day -day life on prep, full day of eating, gonna throw in my workout, all that good stuff. If you enjoy, please comment, like, subscribe. Please follow me on my Instagram. I do OnlyFans, TikTok, all that good stuff. And without further ado, let's get into this vlog. It's now been a couple of hours since my last meal and I just did some editing. I did a Sheen try on haul for like bikini lingerie. That video will already be up before this one. So if you're interested in a try on haul, go click and watch that video. And I just made some TikToks and reels, my normal day-to-day -day work stuff because I am a full-time social media content creator, mainly for Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and OnlyFans for some spicy content. And we're gonna head to the gym soon. Now I'm going to get ready and head to the gym. I'm actually gonna be meeting some friends at the gym today, so I'll throw in some clips with them. I'm again hitting glutes and shoulders. I did that in my last YouTube video, but that's just what today is. So I'll throw in my workout and everything like that. Let's get changed into our cute gym fit and I'll give you guys the deets. Today's gym fit is Alphalete. I'm wearing the Revival sports bra. This is size extra small and the Amplify shorts in the four inch inseam or four and a half. And these are in size small. So we are feeling good today, guys. I'm also going to have this Ghost. I burnt myself on my oven, so yeah, I'm actually really excited to go to the gym today and see my friends. Let's go get this pump. Yeah, I'm here with the squad today. We are hitting a glute and a shoulder day. This one chose it. She's on a weird bikini bodybuilder situation. So let's go ahead and introduce ourselves. I'm Shelby. I'm Essie. Just Peachy. And you guys all know me. All right, let's go get it. So we're just gonna start with some lateral raises to warm up the shoulders. Get a little pump going. She hasn't even started lifting yet, and look <laughs> how large the delts are. That's stupid. Oh, <laughs> I know.
could do a lot more than you think. It's yeah. more like I burn out really fast. Like initially, like it feels fine. Yeah. I've been doing shoulders three days a week. That's absurd. Add it, girl. You have some more. Push, 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 push. A muscle oh, mommy in the making. <laughs> this is how you make muscle mommy. Like, mommy. <laughs> All right. We got it. <laughs> Cause I feel like I feel it better the farther I kick back because I can like pinch deeper into it. You go right here. When I do this, it puts pressure on my Oh, interesting. But then helps me keep more That makes sense. Okay, that totally makes sense. I'm gonna go up and wait. now been a couple of days and I had a super good workout with Lizzie and Essie and Peachy and we just had a really good time just working out together hitting some glutes and shoulders and I was kind of teaching them some things as well so I hope you guys enjoyed that little vlog of our workout and then I just had my last meals of the day and then I just kind of went to bed and that was pretty much the rest of my day now I'm going to get into the part of the video where I talk about prep and do some updates and just kind of how I've been actually feeling on prep, mentally, physically, and emotionally. So I have been on prep for 13 weeks now and the first half of those 13 weeks, they were going really smoothly. I started at 134 pounds and I dropped pretty, quick but like at a good pace to 128. I got stuck at 128 for about two weeks and then I dropped to 121. And now I've been stuck at 121 for a month. And that has been really hard on me because my coach keeps upping my cardio, keeps dropping my calories and I just, my weight will not budge. So I've been kind of in a big rut the past month just waiting for the scale to drop and all that so it's been kind of demotivating and I've just been kind of feeling defeated. I of course keep pushing through every single day doing my cardio, hitting my meals and making sure my workouts are super good. I do compare my progress pictures and I do feel like I am getting leaner and making progress even though my weight hasn't budged. But the reality is I do need my weight to drop about six to eight more pounds for me to be stage ready. And I have seven more weeks to do that. I feel really confident that I can do it. It's just really stressful not knowing for sure what the outcome is going to be in the end. And I don't want to push my shows back because these are the two shows that I really want to do. Pretty much every single day of this prep, recently has been like a roller coaster of emotions. One hour I can be totally fine and then the next I'm really upset and so it's just been hard to balance my emotions and my social life and all of that and the reason I'm just telling you guys this is because I feel like prep on social media is pretty glorified and it is an amazing thing to do but you also need to know that it is very very hard physically but especially mentally you have to make a lot of sacrifices you have to kind of start to isolate yourself because you may not have as much energy as you're used to you can't be going out with your friends all the time being around food and drinking because you can't be a part of those activities while you're on prep because of your strict dieting prep really becomes your life because you have to plan everything around your meals when you go to the gym and how you're going to be feeling socially and emotionally there have been multiple days where i've cried and i've really contemplated if doing this is the right thing for me if it's what's best for me and what my future looks like in this sport because of the way that my body has been responding, 
which is not very well. It's being very resistant to anything that I'm trying to do um, weight loss wise. And it, it has been really taxing on me mentally and physically. Something that's been super, super important to me on this prep is the people that I have around me and the people that I have supporting me. I have made some amazing friends here in Houston and then of course my family and friends in Reno as well, but I honestly don't know if I'd be able to do this prep if I didn't have the support of a few select amazing friends and the circle that I have created here in Houston. Um, I have a private Instagram story with like my close friends and more of like a fitness based audience. And I open up a lot on there and people are always reaching out to me and letting me know that they're supporting me. And it's been honestly super, super helpful having that support system. As a female, you also have to take account into that females are not supposed to be this low of body fat percentage, um, whereas males, it's easier and more natural for them. So it is affecting my hormones. I'm pretty sure I've lost my period currently. Uh, my period has always been pretty irregular, um, but I haven't gotten it for about two months now, which obviously isn't ideal and is not as healthy. Prep is only for a couple of months, so I will obviously reverse diet and get my weight and body fat percentage back to a healthy percent where I will get my period back and get my hormones back into line. Um, I do get my blood work done. I check my thyroid. All that stuff is very important if you're doing a prep. You don't want to go into this blindly. If you don't know what you're doing, you need to hire a coach and you don't want to mess yourself up because it's very easy to do um, when you're eating super low calories and pushing yourself super, super hard at the gym. Another thing that I want to touch on about prep is that it, if you're in the fitness scene on Instagram and you follow a lot of fitness influencers, um, a lot of people do competitions and you don't want to fall into wanting to compete because of the trend or you think you have to do it to be successful in fitness because that is very not true you definitely do not need to compete to be successful in the fitness industry and it is not something to do because other people are doing it is something that you need to do if it is truly what you feel like is something that personally aligns with your goals and dreams. You don't wanna do it for other people, you need to do it for yourself. And that's the only way that you're going to have a successful prep. So yes, this prep has been extremely hard on me, but I wouldn't take it back for anything. I have learned so much about myself. I have never been so determined to do something before and it's pushed me out of my comfort zone. It's pushed me past my limits and I'm really excited to see the outcome of this prep. So yes, it's hard, but it's not all bad. I just want to let you guys know that it's not something to glorify all the time and everyone has their struggles even if they're not showing it and you need to know that social media is just a highlight reel and you can't compare your life to people's social media presence. So that pretty much wraps up this video. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down in the comments down below. Please follow me on my Instagram, my TikTok, my OnlyFans, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm looking forward to making a bunch more videos and definitely have a couple more videos before prep ends. Also, prep brain, prep brain is a thing. You have a lot of brain fog because you're functioning off of very low calories. So if I seem kind of like spacey, my apologies, I can't help it right now. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye.